video, I'm going to share with you how to refashion men's shirts into a contemporary top with cutouts. And let's get started. First cutout, I'm going to work on the back of the shirt. Here is the centre of the shirt represented by this pin here. And this pin is going to be the point at which the cutout will be made and the second pin here helps me to create the curve that will happen. The actual design in the shirts, the stripes here, uh, are not they're irregular so I'm going to have to be careful. So I'm going to start from this point here and just cut half of the curve of the cutout, fold it over and cut the other side. As I'm going to be cutting out this curve here, I'm lucky that I'm working with a straight lines in the shirt so I'm going to follow this line here and then from this point here I'm going to curve so I'm just going to chalk that in and do it freehand you can use a French curve to help you if you're struggling to draw a curve that you're happy with oh that's nice I like that it's very nice okay I'm gonna come all the way down here and cut Hello, I'm Colleen G. Lee, here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing that already exist. If you like this type of video, please remember to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell. Now to cut the other side, bring it over like so. So that's the first cutout and it's on the back and that's a gorgeous looking shape. Now to give this stability I am going to be using a separate fabric, Just a light, this is a lightweight cotton and what I'm going to do I'm going to interface it and then put the strip onto the curve so that will give this curve a nice firm supple structure in order for it to stand out when you're actually wearing it. Now I'm ready to put the interfacing onto the back of this cutout. Those pins in. Just follow the curve, pinning as I go. Until I get to the end. I'm now ready to sew the facing to the curve so what I've done I've lined it up to the centre back seam foot's down needles down and I'm starting from the curve and working away down the shirt now working on the front of the shirt I'm at the button stand here and I am going to do a cutout along here so I'm going to do a curve shape about here I'll say yeah that's okay so I'm going to use these lines these are irregular colors and shapes for these stripes to cut and I'll do the first one here And cut and repeat that on the other side. And so I am now ready to cut the strips. 
and I'm going to cut here. Oh, it's so good. And I've got this one as a template for cutting the rest. To make these uh, ties longer, I've joined them. And I'm now sewing a very narrow seam so that I have as much width as possible to these ties. And now it's time for cut out on the sleeves. So I laid the flat, the sleeve flat as possible. And I'm using the yoke here, the back of the shirt, as a guide for how much I am going to be cutting. So I'm going to start cutting around here, and then I'm going to start curving from around this point here where I place these pins. You can see. This pin is representing the centre of this curve. Then I'm going to use the guidelines of the stripes in order to get a straight cut. So what will happen is I'll cut into the sleeve all along here, around there and up to that point there. So what I'm showing you here now is what I've made from the scrap from the back of the shirt. So I've got two little ties here that are going into the cuff and I've got two strips here that I'm going to refer to as a tie for the collar and I've mentioned this one before where I took two lengths and joined them in order to create a long tie for the back of the shirt. Oh, I'm so proud of this poncho. I use 100% of the garment. Right, I'm going to turn around so you can see ties. And cross that, bring it around to the front. Oh gosh, this is looking gorgeous. Look at it like that. It's so gorgeous. Look at these cutouts. So have it like that. I'll pull this out. <gasps> it's gorgeous. <gasps> Look at this. It's nice. It's gorgeous. It really is. 100% I use of this. There's only little little scraps, little off cuts, but 100% and this is the result you can get from an existing garment, totally transformed into a beautiful contemporary top. What more can I say? If you like this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. We need to be able to tell people this is what you can do with existing garments. You can transform it into something amazing. It doesn't necessarily be contemporary, that's my style, but what you can do and if you use 100% of the shirt, you've got to admit, is amazing. So if you do enjoy my refashion video tutorials, then please do give it a thumbs up and tell everybody about my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.